Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Morgan James book launch. My name is Jim Howard. I'm the publisher for Morgan James, and I'm super excited today because we not we not only have one author, but we have two authors to introduce you to. We have Hema Crockett and Michael Crockett, and they're the authors of The Everyday Leader, 14 Marine Corps Traits to Unlock Your Leadership DNA. Hema, Michael, thank you guys for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you so much, yeah. Jim. We're really excited about this interview and the launch of the book. Oh, we are as well. This is such an amazing book and everything's turned out so awesome. So I can't wait for uh, the viewers here and readers in general to start getting their hands on their copies and, and seeing the impact that's going to make. But why was this book so important for you guys to write? Yeah, it's a great question, actually, because it was something that came out of the pandemic. Mm. Early on in the pandemic, we were toying with a few different ideas, right? We were trying to combine Mike's military background. He was with the Marine Corps for about 23 years and my business background. And one of the things that we started seeing early pandemic especially was how organizations were either handling or mishandling mm -hmm. the pandemic, their response to it, and really just that call to action and that call to leadership. And it just got us talking a little bit about how in the military, you're a leader right from day one. And in the business world, it doesn't necessarily work that way. People want a title or they want something to be associated with a level or a certain level of pay or anything like that. And we thought, you know what? Why not combine the best of both worlds and actually put a book out there that really says, here's what you need to think about if you wanna be a leader. And here's what it means to be a leader. And there are some really core fundamental things to leadership that are the same, regardless of if you're in the military or in a corporate setting. And uh, the book was actually just a lot of fun to write on top of that. Uh, we take a lot of Mike's stories throughout the military and then put in a lot of the business aspect to it. So we're hoping that it really resonates with a wide variety of readers. Outstanding. And I'm sure it will. And, you know, when you reference like the pandemic, uh, there's no way to prepare for something completely unexpected like that. But every corporation, every industry, every entity, every person should have at least um, an emergency plan, right? Something in place that when those uh, circumstances occur, no matter what causes them, we know it's a time to step up and lead our people through that. Um, and I love the fact that when you guys positioned this book, you positioned it with the DNA because those core principles oftentimes are so deep seated, but they're part of who we are and our makeup of who we are. And, and I think tapping into the, the military side of it um, and bringing in some of those traits and, and showing how they're not just relevant in one area of life, but in life in general, whether it's business, organizational or, or whatever. And we can all step up at time to time to be that leader, right? Exactly. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, that was really the genesis behind the title. Yeah, that's what I was going to, the next question I was going to come to is why the everyday leader? So we, in my 23 years in Marine Corps, I, I really noticed that just like Hema said, it, it, leadership, it, the 14 leadership traits are are really ingrained in you from the moment you set foot on, on the beginning basic training. Mm -hmm. um, and that eight, 17, 18 or 19 year old kids, they are applying these traits. Um, that's what I've noticed. So it didn't matter whether you a, a brand new brand, brand new Marine or a four star general leading everybody you, there's constantly, you are constantly applying these, these Marine Corps traits. Um, and then as I transitioned in the business world, I saw that we have got, we had their CEOs all the way down to, to the entry level administrator where they have the capability to, to apply all the traits, but they may not necessarily apply them mm -hmm. uh, or maybe may not be as effective as they could be if they, whether, if they were more in touch with what they needed to apply. Yeah. yeah. And I think what happens is we get so caught up right in organizations around what's our title, what's our level, right? We have to have this kind of recognition in order for us to feel that we have to step up. And the truth is, no, we don't. Every single person can be a leader, whether you're leading people or whether you're leading processes and yourself. And so using the everyday leader was so much broader than the military, so much broader than organizations. 
It's if you're president of the PTA, if you're your kid's soccer coach, it doesn't matter. It's how do you show up in that moment as a leader? Yeah, there, you know, there's the positional leadership role that we all hear and we all take. And those are the things we strive to do. But leadership shows up when it's time to, to step to the plate and bring people along to a new level. And that's where leadership rises. And, and every position of an organization, people can be leaders all the way through. And I love that your book kind of taps into that and talks about um, the, the opportunities for people to step up and show leadership in those ways. But you do spend a lot of times talking about the traits and the Marine Corps traits and, and what those traits are. So what leadership traits do you think are you know critical for people to have today? Yeah, I think we'll have a little bit different of an answer. So <laughs> I would say for me, the two that really come to mind uh, from the Marine Corps leadership traits are decisiveness and courage. Mm -hmm. And I say that because throughout my career, I was an HR executive and I was always brought in during times of change. So whether that was pre-IPO, post-merger acquisition, new leadership change, how do we transform the culture, whatever it may be. And one thing that never failed to surprise me was the lack of decisiveness. And sometimes this analysis paralysis that many leaders fell into and combined with that was this underlying or underpinning of a lack of courage, right? To go out on that skinny branch and maybe make a decision that may not be popular, but is right yeah. at the end of the day. And so for me, it would really be decisiveness and courage. And then I would also add, and you touched on this briefly, Jim, crisis management, right? What we have seen is crisis management needs to be front and center. And it ties directly in with the decisiveness and courage aspect of it as well. But for me, I think moving forward, again, regardless of level or title, it's those few. It's, it's funny, as, I, as I've transitioned out of the Marine Corps, I've been out for three plus years now. Like when, oh, while I was in the Marine Corps, I always preached have the courage to stand up for what's right, to do the right thing, even when it's not a popular decision, even when, just like Emma said. Um, but as I've transitioned into the business world, I see bearing and unselfishness is, is very much the the keys to success mm -hmm. uh, or, or something that I, that I, I truly uh, think is valuable whereas for, for bearing it's I wear my my emotions on my sleeve you know exactly what I'm feeling <laughs> just by looking at my face it's a very true statement <laughs> so so bearing I mean bearing for me is is very it's it's something that if you're talking to your boss and in it's something something unpopular is coming down, you have to be able to grin and bear it. And otherwise, it, it could be your job. I mean, um, so there's definitely that. But as a leader, I would say unselfishness. And it's because as a leader, it's not about you. It's about your team. It's about everyone underneath you and how you represent yourself. So if you're an unselfish, if you are selfish, then your team probably, it, they're going to know that and it's going to be impacted. Um, most likely it's going to be on the negative side so yeah and we Those spend a little bit of time actually talking about the difference between selfish and self-care in the book yeah. i think a lot of times people can mix the two up and there's a very big distinction between the two and if you want to consider show, can, uh, continue showing up as a leader and really bringing your best self every day then you have to take time out for self-care which is very different mm -hmm. than what mike is talking around about being a selfish leader mm -hmm. yeah you know a wise man told me once that you could always measure the effectiveness of a true leader not by gauging the outcome that he accomplishes but by gauging how many leaders he's bringing or she's bringing <laughs> along with him right and you don't get to that level of leadership if you're self-centered and, and more into the positional role of leadership, but actually tapping into true leadership and what's best for those around you. And I think that encompasses, that same thought encompasses everything that you guys talked about, right? Decisiveness, being able to bear it. And, and, and in those times where you wanna say something or you wanna do something, you wanna react a certain way, being able to pull back for the better good. Um, and then of course being selfless and and others oriented i think is so important but there's so much more in this book and i wish we had more time to dive into all of it right but you guys out there watching this book comes from a real place it comes from understanding what the leadership traits are, are important and from lessons learned in military which marine corps or any military 
leadership is so important in the roles that these men and women perform and it has to be decisive it has to be on par it has to be for the greater good it has to be for the right reasons and all of those traits that are poured in transfer over to every aspect of life so it doesn't matter if you're a business owner if you're a organizational leader if you're just leading your family leadership crosses all borders and actual leadership traits are universal and uh, Hema and Michael have done such a wonderful job pinpointing those important traits and showing you exactly how they 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 align themselves with everything that you need to accomplish today so you need to grab a copy of this book it's available everywhere um, at the everyday leader you are an everyday leader whether you realize it or not so you may as well take the time to learn how to be the best everyday leader you can be Hema and Michael I know people are watching this and and hearing us today um, they're going to want to find out more, either about the book or more just about what you guys are doing. What's the best way for them to connect with you and, and find out more? Absolutely. So there's a couple of ways. We're both on LinkedIn. So under either Hema Crockett or Michael Crockett. And then um, our company website, which is Gig Talent. And the website is www.gogigtalent.com. There's information not only about our company on there, but also about the book and other resources that are available. And I would be completely remiss if I didn't show a copy of the book. <laughs> there it is. Hold it in our hands. And we're so grateful to the Morgan James team for just helping bring this to life. So thank you, Jim, and everybody else that's part of Morgan James. We have really, really enjoyed working together and creating this. Oh, it's an absolute incredible book, and we are honored to, to be a part. So thank you for, uh, one, uh, Mike. Michael, for your service and, and everything that, that you've done there. Um, we can't say that enough. And Hema, thank you guys for coming together and writing the, the book and sharing what you know uh, with other people so that they can step up to the plate, especially in times like this. We need leaders. We need leaders in, in every aspect of life. And this, I think this book just can equip so many people to understand what true leadership looks like and start to be uh, what they need to be in those roles. So thank you for that. Thank you. Absolutely. We're excited to, to hear the response from this, hopefully. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time today to talk with us. And uh, I look forward to seeing what happens as, as the book moves forward and the impact it has. So thank you guys for watching. I encourage all of you to grab a copy of The Everyday Leader now. Connect with Michael and Hema. Um, get in tune and figure out what you can do uh, to become a better everyday leader yourselves. So thank you for tuning in today. We hope you've enjoyed this one and we can't wait to see you on our next one. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah.